Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial here on the channel. For this video we're going to take a look on how to create this window illustration while exploring an art style that feels more tactile and textural. This is greatly due to this brush which I will leave it here for free in the description box of this video. With this tutorial I hope that you can take the style and even consider it to post on your social media. Maybe this will be your next sort of art style that you can create your illustrations with. Also, if you'd like to download the Procreate lesson files, color palettes, and watch an extended version of this tutorial, please follow the link to my Patreon page, which is also in the description box of this video. It comes with a bonus 20 plus brush pack of my go-to favorite brushes, my 10 plus favorite color palettes, access to my extended tutorial video library, and more. Now, without any further ado, let's get with the video. The canvas we'll be using for this illustration is a square canvas at 2048 by 2048 pixels, 300 dpi, and an sRGB color space. Right from the start, let's head up to the Actions menu, Canvas subsection, and turn on our drawing guides. Let's tap on Edit Drawing Guide and set the cell size to 128 pixels, which is a number multiple of 64 that equally divides our 2048 pixel canvas into perfect squares. For this lesson, I'm going to focus more on the painting side of things, how to use this brush while also showing you this unique art style. But just so we can touch up a little bit on the sketch layer that we need to build, here's a short version. Using your favorite sketch pencil in Procreate, let's draw a vertical rectangle at the center of the screen. Draw another rectangle inside that first one for the thickness of the window frame. Next, draw two horizontal lines that will be the panel divider of this window. Then draw a circle at the top left section of the window, followed by two small clouds on each side of the sun. Next, draw two lines representing the depth of the window frame. Draw some simple birds made out of triangles, and then two small curvy islands on each side of the window at different heights. Using the grid, draw a horizontal line representing the ocean level. Next, Using a sequence of pill shapes and curvy line branches, draw a group of trees with different scales all across the landscape. Using the eraser tool, make sure to keep the inside of the trees clean while also establishing which trees are going to be in front or behind each other. Draw two bigger trees in the foreground at the bottom right section of the frame. Finish the sketch layer by drawing the last group of trees on the island on the right side. So now we are ready to get into the painting section. The colors that we'll be using for this tutorial are here now on screen, so make sure to pause the video and take a screenshot if necessary. We're going to start by creating a new layer, sitting underneath our sketch layer, and choosing the darkest tone of our color palette, let's draw a few straight lines around the outer edges of our window frame. The trick here is to never use the color drag feature, as you will not get the subtle nice noise effects while painting. Keep filling up each section with manual brush strokes, that's totally the way to go here. Once you've completely filled this background layer all with color, let's create a new layer, but this time, using a bigger brush, let's partially paint out the holes and noise imperfections on that layer, but once again make sure that you're painting on a separate layer with the same color. Once we have covered about 75% of the noise textures and imperfections, merge the two layers into one. The idea here is to dial back the texturing detail to have something that looks good and just enough to catch the eye with these nice little details. So now let's move on to the window frame. Create a new layer and choosing the shade next to the darkest color on our color palette, execute the same steps we have done on our wall layer. Start with straight lines but with a smaller brush size, then cover that area with manual brush strokes. Create a new layer and once again paint with the same color in order to minimize the texturing detail. Then finish up by pinching and merging the two layers. Remember to create new layers for each new color and rinse and repeat these same steps. Color that section with the next color on our color palette, paint out the excess of texture and merge any layers using the same color. You will get to the point where all of your illustration will be then filled with the proper colors. Also make sure to pause the video at this stage if you need to source which colors go where in this illustration example. The next step is to paint the shadows. 
creating a new layer on top of the eye lens, for example, let's set it as a clipping mask. Set the blending mode to multiply and the opacity to about 40%. Using the dark green color on our color palette, paint each section as if the sun was lighting these objects pretty much from behind, as all we could see was mostly shadows over the elements. Repeat these steps to the tree layers as well, leaving just the top sections out of the shadows. Now creating a new layer as a clipping mask on top of the water and using a white color on your swatch, let's draw some stacked horizontal lines at multiple lengths. Using the same brush now as an eraser tool, let's erase a section on each side on every other line, creating a nice ripple design element. Once you're happy with the overall image, add some grain to the overall composition, which will enhance the tactile feel of your illustration. The final result should look like a nice textural illustration that could have been done with water markers on top of textural quality paper. And that's it, you're done. This is the final result, something that looks super cool and artistic, and it could be something that you can take to your social media and establish as an art style that you like to explore with your illustrations. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did a like would be super appreciated, as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of the speed paint videos, tips, tutorials and everything to make you a better digital illustrator. Now on the right side of the screen there's always more content for you guys to watch, one is my latest video and the other one is a video that YouTube's recommending you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.